Hello and what is going on everyone? Hope you're doing well. It's Geoscape here and today I have a video basically clearing up the challenge system that I want to implement into our From Scratch series. This will determine how I can unlock certain abilities and other things throughout the series but each boss specifically so that I can show you guys how to use them at every single boss in the game. If there's ever a video that I need your feedback on more it's this one. Like genuinely the series is so fun to make and I want to make sure this is right so if you've got any input, any ideas, any feedback, it will be so, so appreciated. So drop it in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoy the ideas that I have for this series. And remember, none of this is set in stone. If it's something you don't even want to see entirely and you're just enjoying watching the series as it is, that's fine. Like We'll carry on the way that we're going. But this is the ideas that I have behind the unlock system. I'm going to be using Vindicta as the example for this so far. And we can see how this will tie into every boss in the game as we go. It's going to be a dynamic list. Like things are going to change as the series progresses based on your feedback, based on my interpretation of what's fair and what isn't fair and overall what's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm in the process of actually making the upgrade system that I want to have on my Stacked From Scratch series. And this is what I've got so far. So to begin with, we're going to keep it simple and just have all of the abilities that I feel should be unlocked via this system. So we've got all of our defensive abilities. You've got your Onslaught, Shatter, Reprisal, Limitless, Ingenuity to Humans. And then we've got all of our damage output abilities, so to speak. So we've got our Greater Ricochet, Divert, Greater Chain, Greater Barge, and Greater Flurry. Then we've got the Tier 99 Prayers. Then we also have our Undead Slayer Sigil, Demon, and Dragon Slayer Sigils. What the plan is, is to have a page like this for every single boss in the game. And then we can track our starting KC and our current KC. So for argument's sake, let's say I've just got 50 kills at Vindicta. I can then actually unlock the ability to pick one of the upgrades that I'd like. So a few cool things that I want to add in here. A boss log should be an instant unlock on everything in my opinion. The trouble is when it comes to doing this, I've already completed a lot of the logs in the game. And the only way that we'd be able to actually do this is by getting every single drop unofficially. So if we've already got them in a log, we have to get them again. The issue comes when it comes to the boss pet. We can assume that if I kill the average amount of kills that are required on average to get the vind both of the Vindicta pets. So let's say, let's say for argument's sake, it's 3,000 kills. If I kill 3,000 of them, I should then unlock everything on the list instantly. Like, this will be a lot more fun for the bosses, obviously, where I haven't already got the pets, so that we can we can have fun going for them, right? Aside from that, it's going to be 50 boss kills per boss to unlock an ability. So at Vindicta, in the beginning, I'm not allowed to use any of these. I would have to get 50 kills, and then I have a choice of which one of these upgrades I would like to get. If I want to pick Greater Barge, there will be some additional requirements onto that. We're going to try to tie it into the origin of where the loot actually comes from. So if I get Greater Barge, I may have to go do 5 Elite Dungeon 2 kills without any of these abilities, obviously. If I want to get the Rakshar abilities, I have to have been able to solo Rakshar before doing that. The raids, I have to have completed X amount of raids. This number is up to everyone's discretion. Obviously, the 50 kills per unlock is not set in stone for every boss. So, for Elite Dungeons, the time it will take to kill 50 of them is significantly more than killing 50 Telos or Rex or any other boss where you can kill a lot more an hour. Because of this, this number will be dynamic. So, for the Elite Dungeons, it might be every 10 ED runs we do, we can unlock one of the unlocks specific for that boss. I'm not making it so that I can unlock Greater Barge and then that's it. I can use it everywhere in the game. Once I unlock it in Vindicta, it's only unlocked at Vindicta. When I unlock it at Hellweir, it will be unlocked there. And it will be the same for every single boss. This being said, there are a few issues when it comes to this. Obviously, the tier 99 prayers are unlocked from Angel of Death. The problem I have with Angel of Death is group content. So, yes, I, I could go do a 7-man AOD right now and... In theory, I'd be able to then unlock it at any boss that I've got the required KC that I need to unlock it. The issue that I have is I will potentially get carried at AOD at this point in the game. So is it fair for me to go and do that? Probably not. So for upgrades like that, that's where I need you guys to give me your feedback. A suggestion that we could have, 
for each of these, we have to have got a full set of armor from next. This will incentivize me to do next. So to unlock the melee prayer, I will have to get full Torva, every single piece. To unlock the mage, I'll have to unlock full Virtus from drops from there. And then that way, I can then unlock the ability to unlock these at other bosses. Another unique one is Ingenuity Humans. In order to get this normally, you have to get Fortunate Components. Obviously, you could just buy it, but we want to keep this fun. So maybe before we unlock this, I have to do 25, 50, 100 of each clue, whatever that may be. The raids, it comes into a similar bracket as AOD. So I'm unsure how I want to unlock these abilities. Obviously, Onslaught, Shatter, and Storm Shards and Reprisal are very niche. So these will probably never be picked for 90% of the bosses. But if I want to unlock Reprisal, I have to have maybe have done a 500% Telos kill. Something like that. And then as soon as we unlock the ability to actually get these, I would then be given the choice. I would go, hold on, I've got my 50 kills at Vindicta. I've gone and got all of the additional requirements. Let me now get Barge. I'll put this stamp on here. And then once this is unlocked, it's unlocked forever. For that boss specifically. This is a way of me keeping the game fun for me. And hopefully you guys will find it fun to watch as well. I'm going to have to create a page like this for every boss. So that we have a log and we can keep track of it. I would like to add other requirements on here. So for example for God Wars Dungeon 2. I think it's fair to say if I can get a 40 second kill. Without the tier 99 prayer. Without tier 92s. And without greater barge or greater flurry. I should get an unlock on this list. The, the trouble is when it comes to that it's subjective to everyone's kill times and what they deem fast at that stage of the game right so i feel like this is something we'd have to do as we go along i also think we should have other cool challenges on here as well like li little challenges that with your guys feedback and suggestions we can implement them into the series so for argument's sake you guys might say if you can kill vindicta with tier 60 gear and you don't use any food, you should get an unlock on the list. Yeah, this really is up to everyone's discretion. I've got a few ideas that I've got in place, and I've took my time with this because I think it's important to get this right, and it's also important to keep the game fun as well. I think for simplicity's sake, as a bare minimum, we're going to make it so that at a boss like Vindicta, I have to get 50 kills to unlock something on the list. Certain unlocks will require me to kill the boss that I actually get dropped from. So that, that's the general consensus of this. And then in a series, on an episode, one of you guys might say, here's a little challenge, I want you to do it at Raxor. Do it without praying mage. Like, anything like that that can get suggested can then go, okay, challenge accepted, I'll try this, and if I can pull it off, I get to pick an unlock of my choice. I think this is a great way to actually have a lot of fun with a series and to make it a lot more interactive with you guys as the viewer and make it more fun for me as the player, right? If this isn't something you want me to focus on too much and you'd rather just see my progress and you genuinely want to just see me plow through the series and how quick I can actually get to endgame gear, that's completely fine. Like, I will go with whatever you guys want to see in general. I just think this will be a fun way that we can do the series. I'm not actually going to make this for every single boss until we have it set in stone that you guys want to see this. I think it's fun that if we can actually get the boss log unofficially or officially, we should be able to instantly complete a list. That's a really fun factor for me. I think adding that element of RNG makes the series a lot more watchable in my personal opinion. I'm not going to bore you guys too long and talk about this too much in detail, but this is the general idea that I want to give out to you guys. Uh, as a additional note, in the future, I wouldn't mind doing this with a lot of the side upgrades. So... For argument's sake, a Seren God Bow, I still have to buy it. That will still be a goal that I have to physically buy on the account. It's not like an ability, but I can't just use it willy-nilly everywhere. I have to choose my unlocks carefully. So if I'm killing Virago, for argument's sake, I might have to kill 25 Virago and then go, now I'm going to give myself the right to use a Seren God Bow and show people how it affects the boss fight. Let me know what you guys think. Honestly, this is truly all dependent on the feedback that you guys give. If, if it's received well then we'll go ahead and we'll implement this into the series and we can start unlocking some cool upgrades at Vindicta and Hellweir. And if it's not something you guys want to see, that's not the end of the world either. At the end of the day, I'm having fun playing the account and hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it. So this is all about you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. You ain't going to want to miss out on the content that I've got to bring to you guys. And as always, hope you're all having a happy day runescaping. Peace and thank you all for watching.